Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 1198, 99, 1199. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to thewilddoc.com. Check out all of our full length episodes. That's where we house them. What we're talking about today is releasing the tibialis anterior. Um, yeah, I asked uh, yesterday if anybody got, if anybody had any additional things that they wanted me to discuss, fixes, whatnot, post them below. You guys did a great job. I just picked out one. I know there's a whole bunch. So if you want to continue to ask questions, do that, and I'll, I'll continue to make episodes on them, okay? So tibialis anterior. Uh, when we're talking about tibialis anterior, we're talking about the tissue. Uh, if we look at our shin bone, shin bone is right here, right? This is our tibia. So tibialis, tibialis anterior sits right uh, to the outside portion of that in the front of that shin there. It's this big meaty portion right here and it's responsible for bringing your toes, your foot, your ankle up and in, right? So this is the action that it does. When we're running and jumping a lot, it tends to get burnt out and that sucker will fire up there, okay? So the easiest way to get at this sucker is actually with a stick, okay? So what you wanna be able to do here is if this is responsible for up and in, right, like, like such, up and in, we're gonna push down and out and that's gonna just stretch out that tissue a little bit. You don't have to do it like anything crazy. Just push that, push that sucker down so this is in a neutral position that's just kind of pushed down. It's, it's plantar flexed. And now what I like to be able to do is draw upwards, okay? Going like this, I don't get a whole bunch of tension. This doesn't do it for me. But what I like to do is I get down the bottom, down towards where that meat starts turning into fibrotic tissue, that tendon, I should say. Uh, and I go just a little bit above that because we're, we're trying to, to mobilize the fascia, right? The soft portion. So from right there, that's where I'm gonna draw, 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 draw. Nice and slow. A lot of times, this, is, this whole area seems to be significantly tender for a lot of people here. All right, now you can, alter the which way you go inside and out like this um, just by turning the stick, okay? Now you wanna be able to, again, use that rule of 10, the one I talked about yesterday and the day before that, where wherever you call those hot spots, call them a 10 and continue stroking upwards until you reduce that by half, okay? So uh, we push the toe down and out and we're gonna go ahead and use drawing strokes, strokes upwards. If you don't have a rod like this, you're gonna get yourself a foam roller, okay? Now with the foam roller, you're just gonna place it right here and we're gonna put our knee on it and I'm gonna roll down to the middle portion of my shin, okay? Now remember I said it's the outside, so that means that I need to roll my butt towards you guys, which makes the outside of my calf come in, right? So I'm rolling over top of my hip. Now from right there, now I could do the same thing and I could use my body weight to moderate how much pressure that is. Now with this, I have no problem going back and forth, right? You don't have to use those drawing strokes, okay? And then from right there, we can even find a hot spot and we can dorsi and plantar flex our ankle until that turns, uh, it reduces by half, okay? So these are two options for you. You got the rod, you got the foam roller. If you have both of them, even better, okay? Questions, comments, post them below. And until tomorrow, we are Optimizing Function to Optimize Performance.